Welcome to Northern Sound and Light. My name is Pete and today we're going to talk about ETC's line of Celador Desire LED fixtures. In front of us we have a pretty good representation of the Source 4 LED Desire line. We have our Vivids, a Luster Plus, a Studio Tungsten, and a Studio HD. Uh, the one fixture that's not here in terms of flavor is the studio daylight fixture. We will talk about that though. Uh, the first two fixtures you see represent the two size variants in the Desire line, the D60 fixture and the D40. Every fixture in the Desire line is available as a D60 model with 60 LEDs or in the D40 model with 40 LEDs. The only other difference beyond the size and the quantity of LEDs between the D60 line and the D40 line is that the D60 does have a fan. It is a very quiet fan. It is a fan that has uh, some controllability, uh, but because of the increase in the number of LEDs, there is a fan in the entire D60 line. There is not a fan in the D40. All the other fixtures here are in the D40 size, but as I mentioned, all of them are available as D60s. Uh, all of these fixtures in the D40 flavors are also available as an exterior option. Due to the fan, you can't get an exterior option in the D60 size, but all of the flavors available in the D40 size of the Desire line are also available uh, for exterior outdoor wet location use. Uh, so the first fixture, like I said, is the Vivid. The Vivid is designed for full saturate color. Uh, if you don't know about the Celador line of ETC LED fixtures, the most important aspect of the uh, entire line is the X7 color system. That refers to the number of colored LEDs. Unlike a traditional color changing LED system that might have three colors, red, green, and blue, or four colors, red, green, blue, plus white, or plus amber, or perhaps both white and amber, uh, these fixtures, uh, the majority of them, utilize seven colors. So the Vivid fixture has seven colors. We'll run through those colors. The uh, first color is red and again both of these fixtures are identical except for the number of LEDs so I'll show both red and red in each fixture. Uh, the next color is orange, the next color is amber, the next color is green and then we do cyan and blue LEDs and then finally oh, there's the blue and then finally we have a violet or a purple or an indigo, however you like to refer to that specific color. Uh, so as you can see, seven different colors, uh, seven addresses for individual color control, and then the fixture also has a separate intensity channel so that once you mix a particular color, let's mix a color, a red, a little bit of red-orange, Let's put in that indigo and we'll get a nice purple color, maybe a hint of blue. Once you've mixed a color, you affect the intensity with a separate intensity channel. And unlike some other LED fixtures, the dimming on the desire line is extremely smooth. So you can see here, we'll come back up. Very nice. That's the first two fixtures here we're showing today, the Vivid, the D60 Vivid, and the D40 Vivid. Again, utilizing that uh, very nice looking X7 color system to be able to mix lots of really nice colors. Uh, next fixture here in the lineup is the uh, D40 Luster Plus. Uh, the Luster has seven colors like the Vivids, but instead of uh, the orange color, the second color, uh, in the Vivid, the uh, Luster Plus utilizes a white uh, to enable you to uh, get different pastel tints, uh, very subtle colors, uh, very good on skin tones or also depending on needs for color rendering, for costumes, scenery, other things that you might be lighting. So we'll run through the colors. There's the red. Again, there's the white instead of orange as the second value. Amber, green, cyan, blue, and the violet. All right, let's mix a nice color to take advantage of the luster. We'll put some red in. We'll start to bring in the white and you'll see we have a nice shift to pink and as we bring in more white, we'll get that much more subtle with our tents. Kind of like a no color pink. And uh, if we want to just touch a blue in there and now you kind of have a very light pink 
light lavender sort of color. And again, the intensity is a separate value, so we can affect the intensity. Again, very smooth fade outs on these LED fixtures, unlike some other LED fixtures. Very important smooth fades, especially in a theatrical application. All right, so that's the Luster Plus, the D40 Luster Plus. Uh, next fixture we have here is the first fixture where we get to where we don't have a full seven color system. Uh, this is the Studio Tungsten. This is strictly a white LED fixture. It's all warm white, uh, around 3,000 degrees Kelvin LEDs. Uh, so really all we have here is we have an intensity channel. And you can see it's good and bright. And of course, just as I'd said before, all of these fixtures are available in two sizes. So if you need even more punch, you can move up to the D60 and you get 60 of this warm white LED. This fixture, as well as the other fixtures, also has a separately controlled strobe, which is variable in rate. One of the nice things about the other color changing fixtures is you can strobe any particular color and you can adjust the color while you're strobing. The Studio Tungsten sister fixture would be the Studio Daylight. It would be the exact same form factor with 40, 5600 Kelvin LEDs. Uh, more for uh, studio or film location use uh, when you're looking for a daylight source as opposed to a tungsten source. Uh, finally, the Studio HD. This fixture is designed for television studio use. Um, it doesn't use a full X7 color system, but we'll run through its values here. You can see there's a red. An amber. A cyan. A blue. A warm white. And a cool white. And the idea behind this fixture is when you're going into uh, an existing studio environment, where they may be using fluorescent fixtures for their studio lighting, they may be using tungsten fixtures, they may be using a mix of fixtures. But if you bring in LEDs and you have, you know, a very medium color temperature, around 4200 white, and you're using fluorescent, the fluorescent tends to shift to green, so you need to add in some of the green channel because, of course, in studio lighting, it's all about matching color temperatures and balancing to the camera. Or say you're in a uh, all tungsten studio and you have your white light and you've tried to match the color temperature, but in tungsten light there's a little more red. So you're going to bring in some red and warm it up even more and try and match the tungsten. Because again, in video it's all about balancing all the lights to the same color temperature because of course the camera is very picky. So that's the Studio HD fixture. Again, just like all the others, available as a D40 with 40 LEDs or as a D60 with 60 LEDs. And in the 40 size, it is available as a uh, outdoor, wet location rated exterior fixture. Now we're going to talk about the back of the fixture, uh, the uh, features and functions, and the user interface. All right, so now we are looking at the back of the uh, D40 Studio HD fixture so that we can discuss the user interface and the features and benefits of uh, what's going here on the back. The back of all of the Desire fixtures looks exactly like this. The menu structure is identical, the quantity, shape, and size of buttons, uh, and the various power and signal inputs. So here we have a, a power con input, a power con through so that you can daisy chain these fixtures from a power standpoint so you can drop this fixture on one end and then daisy chain from one fixture to the next with the power on down the pipe. On the other side, of course, we have our DMX input and our DMX through. Same concept on the power side and the data side as re in regards to daisy chaining. So we have a data input and here's our data going to the next fixture. Uh, you can see on the readout, if you can see on the readout, you can see that uh, the largest thing you see is the DMX address. And then right underneath that, the word system OK. Uh, so it immediately gives you uh, some pretty important information. And then there's some smaller texts which uh, go over the uh, different addresses. So in this case, they tell you one is red, two is green, uh, and the various uh, nine addresses on the fixture. Uh, and then uh, some information about the modes. And then, of course, here there's, uh, there's three small LEDs. There's a blue one that represents power. There's a green one representing data. Uh, and then there's a red one, which isn't lit right now, which represents an error with the fixture. Uh, within the menu, it's pretty straightforward. 
um, uh, DMX start address, quick setup, advanced settings. Uh, and this is where you go in and manipulate not only the DMX start address, but the various modes that the fixture's in. Uh, all of these fixtures have several different modes depending on how you want to set up the color mixing, which is sometimes dependent also on the type of console that you're using to operate these fixtures. Um, right now, as I demoed them, I showed them all in what's called general mode, which has individual channel control over each individual color and intensity attribute. There's also a hue saturation intensity. Uh, in the studio fixture, there's, in the studio fixtures, there's a color change adjustment. Uh, so that all you're doing is mixing to different color temperatures. Uh, so there's several different um, uh, setups and uh, modes that you can put the fixture in, and a lot of those modes correspond with uh, the modes that are in the ETC line of uh, consoles for control. Uh, there is a backlight which comes on as you uh, manipulate the menu. The backlight can be turned off. In fact, the entire readout can be turned off if you're in a, a very light sensitive environment and you don't want to see the glow of the back of the fixture or the indicator lights, uh, those can be turned off as well. Uh, that's the back of the fixture. The other thing we have here physically in terms of the fixtures, we are showing all of these fixtures with the uh, optional kickstand yoke. So you can see here it folds in on itself and then becomes a regular C-clamp mounted yoke fixture. But then for tabletop or floor use, this optional floor yoke is available. Really easy to utilize there. So that's the uh, desired line of uh, LED fixtures from ETC. D40 and D60 are the sizes. Vivid, Luster Plus, Studio Tungsten, Studio Daylight, and the Studio HD are the flavors. Thanks for your time today.